Dear FPV pilots, some people have been saying that this radio here, the Taranis X9 Lite and X9 Lite S from FR Sky, does not fly well with tiny whoops. But I'm gonna prove them all wrong. This radio is actually really amazing with tiny whoops, especially in the X9 Lite S version, which features Hall Effect gimbal and a built-in USB charger. So let's power the Bobula up. Connected. And now let's check what happens on the radio. Now, as you see here, my mobula is connected and I get full signal bar. But not only that, I've set up digital telemetry. So if I hit page here, you're gonna see the telemetry of the drone and you see the horizon moving as I move my drone. Or if I go to a more practical page like this one, you can see the temperature 45 degrees Celsius. You can see the battery voltage 4.02, the current being drawn by the drone, and the receiver signal level. As you see, it flies quite smoothly. I have really no problem in controls. And the sticks are really, really nice. I mean, whole effect gimbal is way better than flying, say, a good old school analog, like, like your PlayStation is. Let's go visit the other room in the house. Okay, I've been flying a bit aggressive, but you see, signal strength still pretty okay even though I'm on another side of the house. And now let's come back to the living room. Battery voltage still good, 3.3 volt. But I set up warnings, so you know like, if something goes, goes bad, I actually get full warnings from telemetry from my Taranis. So you will hear it in a minute when the voltage will drop below 3.2 volt. By the way, this tiny drone really sucks a lot of battery because this HD version now, this is what I wanted to hear, right? Let's hear it again. So this is my warning that I have to come back and land. Anyhow, very, very nice drone. Let's land. And now we are down. So as you see, this tiny guy can fly pretty well with my Taranis, no problem whatsoever. And I get full blown telemetry with warnings for low voltage on the battery. So what can you ask more? So how do we connect this radio to this drone? This drone is a tiny Vogue Rockick and SBI receiver. The first thing is that we want to actually downgrade the power of the radio of the transmitter. I'm not talking about the OpenTX version. That might be 2.3.9, 2.3.12, .3 whatever you want to run. I'm talking about the firmware of the radio itself. So the firmware of the module where this antenna is connected. And to copy the new file that we need, we just power on the TX like normal. Welcome there we go. To OpenTX. And now we are inside OpenTX. And next we plug in a USB cable and we are going to get this question here whether we want to connect using joystick or storage mode now joystick is the one you use for the simulator but this time we're going to use for storage mode so let's click ok so if i go back to my mac i get a folder mounted on the mac and this folder is where the files of the sd card are stored now if you look here i have a folder called taranis but I also have a folder about the SD card itself. Now, if you get a new SD card and you just put it inside the transmitter, this folder is going to be empty. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is to download the content for this SD card. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to downloads.opentx.org 2.3, release SD card, OpenTX, and then the version you have, I have X9 Lite S, 
if you have X9 Lite, just go to the X9 Lite folder. And here you see the different version. In my case, I took the 0029 because this is compatible with my OpenTX firmware, which is 2.3.9. But regardless, go investigate which one you should take. Take it, unzip it, and drag it into your SD card of the radio. Now, the first thing we need to load here is the firmware for the radio. So inside the firmware folder, now it's empty, we will place the update file that is going to update the radio of this transmitter module. So where do we find the firmware that we need? We just go on the FRSky website and here we have different models. So in our case, the model is XN Lite S, but we're actually going to the XN Lite because the radios are the same and apparently in the XN Lite S folder, there is not the right version that we need. Once we are here, we go for download and then in the download itself, we have manual firmware radio OS SD card contents. But what we want to get is actually firmware ISRMRF module. So here we have three different versions that you can download. So this one here is the latest version, version 2.1.6. This one here is version 2.1.0. This is the one we want. Version 1.1.3. Now, as you notice, this version number is radically different than the other one. It means this actually runs on a different protocol. This is Access V1, while these two above here are running Access V2. And the point is that this tiny whoops, you know, they actually have an SPI receiver. So it's not really a fully fledged receiver and it does not run yet the latest Access V2 protocol. Therefore, we want to set our radio back to the version one protocol by using this old firmware here. So we just download it. This here is our firmware and here is our FRK file. Very good. So now this FRK file, we just drag it inside here in the firmware folder. There we go. So now we have the firmware file here in the radio ready for flashing. Next, we need another small script, which is to change the radio mode towards FCC. You know, actually when you buy this radio, it can be either in FCC on, or EU mode, you don't know. So what you need to do is use this script to set it right. And this script is available on GitHub under this Hobby for Life ISRM mod changer. And there we go. And this is the, the, the explanation of how this uh, script is working. I see very simple, you just have to select the region you want, and then you go into site script. Here is the script itself, .lua. And then you click here on row, and this is the script, right? Very small script. Then you just right click, save page as, and then just save it into download without the .txt, just .lua, which is the scripting language. So just get save and don't happen. We want to get the original extension, just go replace. And there we go, we have our script. So there we go, isrmmod.lua. Very good, so we just drag it here, inside scripts, done. So now we have everything set up here. We have the new firmware ready for flashing, and we have the script to change between FCC and EU mode. Very cool. So now let's unmount all this stuff, and let's get back to our radio. All right, all cool, we can disconnect the computer. Now in the radio, we want to go now inside the menu to do this update. So we go long press menu and then we press page. And there you see, this is the content of the SD card, right? So um, what we want to go first is the firmware. So let's go in the firmware and you see we have this FRK file. We long press and then you see we have different things we can flash. This is to flash the internal module. All good, we get this flag successful. This means everything is right. Just as a safety, I like to turn it off and on again. It's actually not really mandatory, but you know, like just to be on the safe side. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, all good. So now we have to change the mode and set it to FCC. So as I told you there, we have a script that we put into the SD card. Again, we long press menu, go page. 
but this time we go down to scripts and we take our ISRM mode, long press, execute. And now you say I can switch between LBTEU and FCC. So let's select FCC. There we go. And that's already done. So now I can exit this script. Now to bind the drone, there's one more thing you need to take care of. So sometimes this tiny whoops come with an old version of beta flight. So sometimes they come with something like 3.5, like that's really too old. We need to, to get this guy to at least a four dot something version. Uh, that's super simple. So we just connect the drone like usually. So let's do it. We connect it via USB. In my case, I have the USB connection here. Done. And then I go inside beta flight. I mean, I guess you know how to install beta flight. I don't need to show you about that. Right, so we go into beta flight and just connect to the drone like usual. There we go. And make sure you have a, you're running some latest version of beta flight. In my case, I'm running 4.2.8. Okay, so once you are into beta flight, just go on configuration, scroll down and make sure you selected FSKI X as a protocol. You can also select FSKI X LBT, but I never really got it to work. So I recommend you FSKI X which is access the D16 protocol compatible with the FCC options that we did select before. And to bind the drone, actually, you can use the, the button that is on the drone, it's a tiny button to put it into bind mode. But with these modern versions of better flight, you can actually go on the CLI and I really like way Telemetry better to bind in this, in this mode, you know and just use the bind command. It's actually called the bind underscore RX. And this will put the drone into binding mode. Um, as you can see, like the lights are not very indicative, but this is now binding mode. So now on the radio itself, we go inside our uh, model option. So this time we click menu just once, so no, no long click. And then we go page and now we are in the setup. So if we go backward down you see i have it set into access t mode d16 so not the access but the access t okay and then channel 1 to 16 i want the full channel and then i go for bind and i bind with telemetry on so the radio is now binding up with the drone that's cool. And now I go back into beta flight. I wait a bit until this thing is successfully bounded. And then here I hit save. And here I exit the binding procedure. Telemetry recovered. And as you hear, this telemetry recover means that it actually reconnected successfully to the drone. Because this time we are bounded once again to the drone. Finally, if you want to get uh, full telemetry, just enable telemetry here. And this will allow your radio to get all the telemetry information from the drone. All right, that's it for today. I hope I help you connect this very nice FSKI X9 Lite S or X9 radio to your tiny whoop, fly around your house or around the park like I do and have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.